Yeah, right. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to try. I can't be bound to a to this, so I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to take it over here. That way, I can I can look at the screen. We'll go this way. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? All right. Testing one, two. Very good. Well, first of, first of all, Matt, uh, Lorinda, and the home builders, thank you so much for the invitation to come today. My joy, my, my joy gap is not much of a gap. I'm glad to be here. We have a lot of great information to share with you. Uh, it's almost going to get rolling. Uh, I always start by thanking our founders. Uh, the center was founded in 1996 by the Alabama Association of Realtors, the Real Estate Commission, and the Culver House College of Commerce. Uh, it's a special bond. And uh, I see a few realtors here town. Brian, uh, Brian Sparks is here. But uh, we really appreciate our founders. Those who are aware of Acre, our core purpose is to deliver relevant resources in three particular areas, research, education, and outreach. Uh, this morning, this is, this is our roadmap for this morning. Uh, I hate to take you back in time, but I'm going to for, for a short period. So we're going to look at a five-year window. Uh, then we're going to kind of drill down 10,000 square feet. Then we're going to go down to, to our annual comparison. Then monthly, this, our last data just came in for February. We'll go there. Also look at some trending lines. We'll also dig deep into the Birmingham new, produ new home production. I'm going to give you our forecast uh, for both Alabama and Birmingham. I'm, going to, I'm not an economist, but I'm going to go a little, I'm going to go, I have a few slides on the economy. So we'll go there. And there's a few, a few slides that, Anyone does presentations, they always have, and you never know where to put them, so I just called them Potluck Thursday. So there's a few slides that don't really fit in, uh, in, the, in the sections, and I'll, I'll bring that up at the very end. At the very end, I'm going to highlight some of our resources that the center has. And so uh, let's get started real quick. I always like to get started with a frame of reference. Uh, in Tuscaloosa, it would probably be after, I mean, right before the tornado. Here in Birmingham, I always kind of go back and, and do a little research, and. And it kind of, the, the, the date and time that I had was January 2011. Does anybody remember uh, that month? I, I don't, I don't want to take you too far back, but I, I, I start this for a reason. 62 sales in your market, in a market this size. You can see sales down, permits down, starts down, average sales down, the sales price down. Uh, Birmingham was actually the second to last metro market in the state of Alabama. Not, you know, things are not really going that well uh, January 11. And the reason I start there, if you guys are here, and by the way, our relationship with the home builders here locally started in 2010 when we started doing some events here locally. And I w immediately went back, I wanted to find some, uh, some, some photos from that event. We had, it was at the Viridian. Who knows Mike Wedgworth? It was at his property. He, oh, some folks were there, I know. Great event. But <clears throat> going back there, I was really trying to look for a, a crowd shot of all the people there because it was a great crowd. And I was like, if, you know, here's this big crowd, and here you are today. You're, I mean, you're, so, you're, you're blessed. You are a survivor. And, I kinda, and I, when I was looking through the, 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 the slides, I came across the family. This is the O'Neills. Uh, they're in Hoover. Uh, their son interned at the center. Their son was a, was a huge driver and when we started doing new construction coverage. His son is James O'Neill. And just to, just to take it one step further, I saw uh, this family, uh, Mr. O'Neill passed away a week before the Tuscaloosa tornado in April 2007, 2011. So I'll bring that to you just again, count your blessings. You're here. Uh, yeah, you survived what, one, what we would all agree is the worst downturn in real estate in, in our generation. So, catch your blessings. Here we go. Big picture, five-year window, looking through the lens of supply, demand, <coughs> pricing. I'm going to primarily compare Birmingham to Alabama, then I'll drill down to, do, to, your, to your industry, to new homes. So, all right. Many of you probably... Don't know. This is the supply side, real quick. Inventory. This is Alabama. Going, going. Uh, you know, what do you see here? You see, you know, trend lines going in the right direction. You see 15% down since 2009. 
but Bob, I want to point out, what would the equilibrium look like? If you think we're in a balanced market, raise your hand. If you think that our real estate market, either Alabama or Birmingham, if we're in a balanced market, if you think we're balanced, equilibrium, raise your hand. Good, no one, no one believes we're in a balanced market. I'm with you. What would a balanced market look like right now in Alabama? You know, we're here at 32,000 units. A balanced market would be right at around 21,000. So there's more work that needs to be done. Drill down to Birmingham, your local market. Great news, inventory down 27%. Now, look here. You're, you're at 7,600 at the end, of the end of the year. This is the average inventory for uh, last year. Now, your equilibrium would be around 6,000 units. Much, much closer. Okay, here we go. Now, now here's, here's you guys. Here's the new homes. Okay? Your inventory, this is great news. You're down 58% over 2009. Okay, you got an average inventory last year of uh, 729. What would the equilibrium look like right now if we were right at about 500 units? So you're getting closer and closer and closer. Here's, our, here's, here's a look at sales for Alabama. Uh, you can see that we're still 27% off our peak, which was 2006. If we used the growth rate of the last three years, and by the way, there is a positive story about Alabama and Birmingham. As far as Alabama, there has been positive sales growth the last three years. 2%, 6%, and then last year, right at 10%. So there's a positive third consecutive year of positive sales growth in the state. But if you took that average growth, okay, and you, you know, what, what, how long would it take if, that's, if that growth rate to get to where the peak was? It would be about 2020. So no one holds your breath and no one's joy gap should be waiting for reaching the, the, the prior peak, okay? Here's Birmingham, same exercise. You know, you're down 20, 37%. There's your peak right there. 18,000, you're down to 11, okay? Using the same last three years, you had 7% growth. It would be 2021 before we would get back to our peak. So no one should be laying awake at night, you know, thinking really about the peak. But it's, it's, it, to me, it's interesting to show you uh, what it would look like. Now, here's your new home industry here locally, okay? You've only had two years of positive sales growth. So I went back to the last two years, the average was 13%. You know, based on our current you know, demand, it would be 2021 20, or 2122 20, before we got back to that peak of 3,635 units. That's, that's just astronomical. Days on market in Alabama, they're still up. They're trending in the right direction, but overall they're still up 5% from 2009. Here's your local market. Uh, much better, uh, much better trending. Days on market down 19% versus Alabama, which was five up. Okay, here's a median price for uh, Alabama. By the way, by the way, all our data is from the Birmingham Association of Realtors, their MLS, and uh, for some reason we don't get the days on market for new construction. I guess they feel like it may not be uh, totally accurate, so they don't they don't supply that for us. But uh, here's median price. Uh, uh, you can see median price last year rose five point, it's been 5% since the bottom, I apologize, not from last year, but 5% from the bottom. Here's your Birmingham overall market, uh, median price, much better situation, it's 16% you know, since the bottom or 8% per year. Here's your new home, it's, it's even better than the other two slides. Here's your median, up, up 26% since your bottom in 2010, 9% uh, uh, average per year. And a lot of you that choose to use average versus median. So here's your here's your new homes for average price. You can see 26 uh, up from median, 24 from the average price. Okay, now we're drilling down, getting closer. Just an annual comparison. Uh, again, this is last year statewide. 10% sales growth. You see average price, median, three one. Days of market going the right direction, and your inventory. Uh, declining. Here's how your local market looked. 2011 was the first positive sales growth 
<coughs> since, since uh, 2006. It's been quite some time. Uh, so there, just take a look at that. That's your market last year. Now let's kind of look at how, what new construction looks like in Birmingham. Back up, so you see sales. There's, there's Birmingham, 10%. Your new construction sales were up uh, 9%. You had better average sales price and median <laughs> sales price. And as builders got more confident, you can see it's, it's normal. That normal 5%, you'd expect this right here. So uh, that shouldn't alarm you. Now we're just getting down to last month. I guess it's March 13th today. This is our latest data we finished up first this, first this week. Okay. So this is right off the press. We actually haven't done a report yet as far as uh, on L.com. I've got in yellow is, <coughs> this is the whole market. In yellow talks about the new home inventory. So basically of the 6,900 units that are on the market, you're, and I guess dovetails what Tammy said, you notice it's dead on 10%, dead on. 705 units are new construction. Supply is down uh, 4% from uh, last year. And good news, it's 41% down from the peak, okay? Uh, inventory, for, this is basically a strong, uh, I love this indicator. It's a month of supply. Look where the market was uh, way back in February 10, 16.3. Look at your new home uh, in February. You definitely want to get below 6.5, but it's still tr you know, trending for the most part in the right direction. So your entire market is 8.9. Your new homes, part of that is 6.8 months of supply. Okay. This is another positive as far as the percent of sales in Birmingham as far as in February. This year, the 104, uh, as a part of the pie was 14% of all sales here in Birmingham versus 12 last year. Okay. This just shows you the, 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 the bigger picture. There's no, uh, this is, we do get days on market for the broader market in Birmingham from MLS, but not new construction. Here's your median price. Uh, this kind of jumped off the page for me. Uh, I, you know, 26 percent is a staggering uh, figure, but uh, you guys can tell me during the Q and A if this if this resonates. But this is straight from the MLS. So price is up. Uh, okay. The university where I work, we, we try to recruit the best and the brightest and. The center is no different. I like to hang around the best and the brightest. And you guys are so lucky in this market to have researcher, researchers day in, day out who do a bang up job. And I realized that three or four years ago, and I was like, I want to get closer and closer to these guys. Jason Hale, Tom Brander. They've been involved with Acre now three, four, or five years. Both of them now are trustees, and we work very closely together. I mean, a, a, a hallmark of the 21st century is collaboration, whether it's on the educational side, whether it's in your industry, and we do it, you know, we, we take that to heart. And here's Jason Rahel. We've been together, what, three, four, five years now? Yeah, it, time flies. Yeah. We've done a, a ton of store, uh, studies around Tuscaloosa and other parts of the state. But I called Tom, you guys know Tom. He's, I think he was here nine, six, four months ago. So I, I knew the slides he has, and he was gracious enough to allow me to uh, have a few. So thanks to Tom. By the way, he's doing great. Tells everybody says says hello. You know how Tom's graphs are. This is just a kind of a, tr these are trend lines. You see the new homes in Birmingham at the very bottom. Oh, this is all Birmingham, I'm sorry. But your, the red is the new homes uh, down at the very bottom. This date backs to 2006. Uh, the center started collecting data on Birmingham in 2009 and across the state as well as far as new home data. Let's see here. Okay. This, is, this is basically sold versus new listings. I mean, how fast are things selling? So you can see way back in the, the heyday, you have the new homes are listed in red, and the close you see was, it's a pretty decent match down here uh, in 2014. All right. 
Uh, this is the gra I mean, I'll look at this, I just see a gradual improvement. This is total sales volume in your market. And you can see from the high, get down to your, your, your trough, and you're going gradually back up in the right direction. Okay. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed some of this uh, a slide on you know, where the who's doing the volume. And just through the last 12 months, this was probably no surprise. D.R. Horton has 12% market share as far as closed transactions. Essential Homes have 7% of closed transactions uh, over the last 12 months. Okay. Here's your average price for Birmingham. That does it is fairly consistent with that 26%. You see right here, the blue is your new home right at the very top of the graph. And at what price points are selling? You guys will know this already, but this is just data to back up what you already probably knew. Your, your, your two, 200,000, 300,000 is your is 40%. Three to four is 30. So 70% of the market is right here. And this is based on closed data from the last 12 months. Okay, let's talk about your, your, your permits, your housing starts here locally. And again, I want to point out to Jason Hill, we work closely, we get a lot of our data from Jason, who helps us create our, our statewide uh, report. And Jason, I want to thank you, as always. Yeah. But uh, here is, it is in a, kind of in a, in a summary form. Let you kind of digest this in. The housing starts in this area, we're still off 33% from 2008. Uh, as you can see, the last Birmingham, you know, as we start out the year, permits are down 20%. Uh, and starts are down 7% here locally. But just going back to last year, your year-over-year -year growth was in 2013, you had permits up. 18% in starts, they were up 19%. Okay, uh, we're going to take a stab at our housing forecast real quick, share with you. Before we do that, I want to just kind of show you our, our forecast from last year so you can see uh, if it's worth following. Uh, we certainly can't guarantee any of our forecasts. This is our forecast last year. And uh, again, this is another collaborative effort with the center working with, with Tom Brandon, all of us working together. Uh, to, to just kind of trail new, new, new areas. Uh, one of the guiding principles of the, city, of the center is to provide forecasting, and we, we're, we want, we're serious about that. So here's Birmingham last year. We missed it by a uh, market this size. When you miss it by 218 units, that's phenomenal. Okay, even, even with a bigger sample size, our forecast for the state of Alabama, you can see it at 41.2. Basically, actual came in at 43. We missed about 3%, easily within the uh, mar margin of error. You can see month by month how it stacks up, our projections versus actual. Here's our 2014 forecast for Birmingham. We, we're forecasting 8% sales growth in your market. Uh, this regression model is only two years old, and so we have not gotten to do homes yeah, so this is, this is just a guess, I hate to say guess right now, our, our gut as far as new homes. We're, uh, you see we're being very conservative and giving you a range. And honestly, this could change uh, in the second quarter. But right now, I knew I was you know, talking to home builders. I want to at least throw something out there. So we're seeing 7 to 12% growth uh, in new home sales in Birmingham this year. As far as Alabama, you recall last year was right at 10%. Uh, our forecast this year for the state of Alabama is uh, more is gradual, it's about 5% growth. All right, let's talk about the, uh, just a few things about, the, our, about the housing outlook in a broader sense. Uh, we have a, uh, a source at the university called Global Insight, and uh, we use them quite a bit. Uh, I would throw out the big word for us, how we look at it, is it's still gradual improvement. Uh, what, what's positive, you still have, you know, pent up demands there, we have more and more housing, and I'm, I know Edson will go much deeper than this, so I'll kind of keep it very, very brief. Housing formation is coming back. Uh, single family indicators are now improving. 
uh, your negatives. It's still hard credit. That, you know, and I have a slide on employment growth later, but it still also gets back to jobs, jobs, jobs at the end of the day. You know, here's, you, know, you see, there's four slides, you have our graphs, home sales, new homes, permit starts. Do you see any trend lines, any, gra any lines going straight up steeply? No, they're not. It's just going to be gradual improvement. Okay. I know it's the first quarter. We all know it's kind of started off to, I would say, a pretty slow start. And uh, from what we gathered, I guess the key word would be patience. Uh, we feel like there's a big spring, and I wouldn't say a big spring ahead, but we feel confident there's a good spring and summer ahead for you in the state of Alabama. Okay. I, was, I didn't have time to get to Birmingham distressed uh, foreclosure data, but, and it's there. We get this from CoreLogic, but you can see that Alabama and the nation as a whole, they're definitely trending in the right direction as far as distressed properties. And the four, you know, as an example of as a, the foreclosure rate. Okay, let's see here. Okay. You've all read about some of the great price appreciations across the, out, across the country. Typically, you see those in areas I call the sand states, your Florida, your, your Arizona, California, the places where you had the biggest decline in, in bottoming out. And so it just kind of makes sense uh, that when, it, when, the, when the market came back that you would see some double-digit numbers that you all read about. A lot of times you read about that and why is, it, why is this not happening in Alabama? Well, you know, typically Alabama lags 12 to 18 months Good and bad. We, 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 we didn't go in the tank as fast as the, as the U.S., and we're just not coming out as fast. But uh, I'd rather have a gradual as opposed to spikes. That's, that's not all bad. You know, we're all noticing interest rates kind of creeping up, but if you look at it over long term, there's, there's, it's still historically low rates. I mean, unbelievable low rates. This goes out to 216. You see one of them is mapping out to about 6%. So historically, the rates are going to continue to be at, at low, lates, uh, low, rate, low levels. Excuse me. Okay. Here's a few, just a few slides that, that uh, didn't really fit in anywhere, so I'm just going to throw it out here. This is, I got this two days ago, actually. Some of you guys may have uh, saw this. Trulia came a rent versus buy. I thought this was very interesting. Every market across the country, every, all 100 markets, not just uh, in the Birmingham, all 100 markets right now, this analysis says it's, it, is, it is cheaper to own than buy. And that should speak to you. And I was glad to see, a lot of times you see these, these national reports and you see Alabama, you see no little bubble. You know, they just kind of skip over Alabama. But fortunately, uh, this one, there's, there's Birmingham. And I believe it said it was, I don't, I'm not sure, I don't, that's hard to believe that 56 is cheaper to buy, but, but it, that's what the report says, so I'm, I'm sharing that with you. That's it. Also, I want you to look, this is the pricing going back to 1975. So you see, uh, if, you're, if you hold for the long term, whether you're an investor or a homeowner, you see the trend lines. Uh, are there that are very, very positive. Even the downturn, you see how the downturn in relationship to the last, you know, 35, 40 years. So take heart. You want to buy the right time and sell the right time, but the bottom line is, you know, that chart speaks for itself. Okay, we've done a, a lot of extensive research in Tuscaloosa. Uh, with Jason and another partner, Joe Zanola. And who here owns rental property? A few, a few, anyone own rental property? I see it back there in the back. Uh, and they're not researchers, just, we kind of learned that you know, Tuscaloosa, for lack of a better word, had a lot of, I guess, some spoiled landlords just because they had such a phenomenal occupancy rate for, for almost decades. In other words, they were getting 93, 95, and 97, just, decade after decade after decade. And then we were doing our research. We, we noticed uh, that you know, 
I bet, you know, and I, I do, I knew, I know Birmingham's, I can't remember what it was, but if you're thinking about getting in the rental, you know, the rental business, uh, I, this, this slide interests me because please have an expectation of, you know, 90, 92 percent. Don't, don't do your pro forma based on 95, 97. Uh, you can see the average uh, vacancy rate in, in the state of Alabama over, over a 12, eight-year period is right at, thir right at 13 percent. So uh, I just found this very interesting in some of the research that we had done earlier. Again, I, I share with you that I was not an economist, but I do want to show a few slides as far as a, a forecast. You see the key drivers uh, here. I won't read them for you, but you've either read about these. Uh, you know, they're all risk. It all, you know, hey, as far as December and January uh, employment numbers were really dreadful, to be quite honest with you. And fortunately, in February, they got back on track. They're 175. And we need to continue to have job growth at 175,000, 200,000 on a monthly basis. Okay. This slide is tells me steady as we go. I mean, this goes out to 2020. You see this is GDP. Uh, you see our downturn. You see it's, it tapers off, you know, some, but it's still gradual and steady. Okay. You know, there's a lot of numbers here, but you can look at the housing starts right there in the middle of the graph. You can see even in 15 and 16, the, the forecast is for 30 percent uh, growth, uh, and and then 10 percent in 16. Now that this housing starts does include multifamily. On this particular slide, so I want to point that out. Here's some other uh, uh, indicators. Look at employment rate, uh, unemployment rate. You see it continue to trend in the right direction, which is huge. Oil prices, which I remember back in 2008-9, were just the final death knell to the housing market. Oil prices, 110. Just if you had the consumer, <clears throat> but they they're 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 fairly steady. I mentioned earlier just a few minutes ago, uh, it was great news when the February uh, employment numbers came out and they were back at 175. They were trending real low in December and January and it was uh, super news to see it uh, getting back where, where we needed to be. We'd love to see 200,000 uh, uh, growth in jobs month after month. Even better news, look here, this is again, they didn't forget about it. This is a national report. They didn't forget about Alabama. Here we are right here. Here's Jefferson County. Uh, you, this is basically Mercedes driven. This is Tuscaloosa. But uh, not, not huge growth for Jefferson County. But all in all, as far as Alabama, uh, it's not too bad. This slide, you know, gets back to just confidence. Are you confident? As a builder, are your, are your customers confident? Uh, this just takes us back for a few years and it kind of shows you where there is progress being made. I know Matt had mentioned earlier when he introduced me, there are some resources I want to point out to you real quick. Okay, our website, uh, we're in the process of, of changing the website to make sure it, it, it you know, it's mobile friendly, but it still has this packed with a ton of information. I do want to point out, you can go uh, right here where it says statewide, you can, all, you can put new construction. So right there, you can go new, new construction, you can compare the latest data we have versus the last three or four years to the month. So please know that that's there. Uh, it also works on your, on your mobile, mobile device. Can quickly get that data. We've written over 450 blogs since we started doing our blog with AL.com since 2011. We have a new home report that comes out every uh, every month. It points out Birmingham. It points out who's who's leading at the top five metro markets. So, uh, if you're not subscribing to our newsletters, I would ask that you go to our website and subscribe if you'd like to know uh, more about. Alabama real estate information. Uh, I'm going to go through this real quick. Jason's real familiar with this being a trustee. 
But it's all about transformational leadership. Uh, the center is not standing still. We are, our best days are ahead of us. I mean, we lived the last three to four years because of the downturn in licensees and our core funding. You know, we, we've lived without a research director. We're, we're, we're going to have a, a research director, and we're prepared now to move forward the next 15, 20 years. Because the folks like Jason, folks in this room are getting involved. We're organizing for growth. Uh, we, you know, we're doing more and more research, more with less. And uh, it's just, a, you know, we enjoy, we have a passion for serving Alabama. If you're, if you're not getting the weekly wire, you should be. It comes out every, every Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, religiously. It gives you all real estate news from across the state, you know, Huntsville down to Mobile. We still, we do a lot of collaborative research. This is, you know, because of Tuscaloosa, we've done a, a tremendous amount there because of the tornado. Uh, we do a tremendous amount of education for the state. Jim Lawrence, our education director, is around the state, 70 plus, 70 plus year, uh, days a year around the state of Alabama, uh, providing education to those in the real estate industry. Again, it also we like to have fun. You guys are familiar, we have an outreach event here annually. It's coming up in the next 45 days. You'll begin to hear more information about that, working real closely with, with BAR and, and, and Mark. So we like to get out. I mean, real estate is what? Real estate is a relationship-driven business. And we can't do our job sitting behind a cubicle on campus. We have to be out in the industry. And these, these events allow us to, allow, allow us to get out, but also allow us to say thank you. Uh, it's, it's a network. We also like to get involved and roll up our own sleeves as a center and get involved in, in worthy projects. And of course, with Tuscaloosa, there was a huge project and it's still going on. Okay. If you want to partner with Acre, please come by and see me. Our, here's Rachel Jennings, she's our outreach coordinator. We have a passion for serving Alabama's real estate industry. And certainly Birmingham is a huge part of that puzzle. The process begins here, research, education, outreach, and multimedia. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to take them right now. Any questions, comments? Wow. <laughs>